Well, we have our divisiveness up there. I must say, you know, Canada is very progressive. It's been a decade and a half or almost two decades since we've had uh, LGBT rights up there, a uh, uh, marriage uh, uh, federally recognized. This is wonderful. We're about to legalize cannabis uh, across the country July 1st for recreational and medical. Um, you know, uh, Pierre Trudeau, the father of the current prime minister, initiated something called a just society, more equanimity, um, and... Uh, you know, Canada is a very inspiring place from that point of view. But we have our own divisiveness too. There's a lot of racism up there. There's a lot of, uh, you know, there's 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 a lot of divisiveness as well. And 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 you know, uh, Canada is not a, a perfect place. It's certainly we have less gun crime, less gun crime, but we have it there. We have less of everything, but we have our the opioid problem. We got the gun problem. We have the racism. We have the divisiveness. Uh, you know, we have uh, extreme right groups and uh, up there that are, uh, you know, looking to, to undermine the, 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 liberal, uh, the liberal aspects of our society that make it a, a palatable place to live. But I think it's, uh, you know, down to the individual responsibility. Each one of us everywhere, we got, we got to make the world better. I think the concept of mindfulness, thinking before we speak, having love in our hearts, um, and, uh, and, and kind of spreading that around and, and being more, more considerate of, of other people and being more tolerant of those who are different. Canada certainly espouses those values, and I'm proud to export them wherever I go, along with the Canadian-made vodka. <laughs>